Now, if you're anything like us, you're finding adjusting to life back in the office tiring, possibly even exhausting. So if you're struggling to find motivation, our favourite nutritionist, Claire Turnbull, is here to help with some tricks for boosting productivity, focus and getting back on track. So let's bring Claire in now. Morena. Good morning. OK, so that's totally me. Um, I did well during lockdown, um, I have to say. However, outside of lockdown, useless. Um, I've been back in the cupboards looking at the chips. Well, not just looking at them. Yeah. Um, back in the fridge because <laughs> I'm tired. I'm just tired. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's the, the norm for a lot of people. We are creatures of habit, and I think a lot of the good habits that people had before lockdown when they were in a routine have kind of just gone out the window because lockdown just kind of threw everything out. And now it's almost like starting again. Yeah. Um, and the good habits and routines that we've had around exercise have gone, and we've picked up this kind of um, picking and nibbling. So it's just a good opportunity to... Um, we just got to start slow, be a little bit kind to ourselves, not do everything at once. One of the key things is if you are tired, it's really difficult to get your eating in, in track. Mm. So it's looking, what can we do to stop us feeling so tired? One thing, looking at micro breaks during the day, because one of the key things now, there's too many things to think about. So much on our minds. Um, and if you're bombarded with information, you just end up getting really tired. So when you do have breaks, I'm not saying everyone can take 15 minute breaks all the time. Even a one minute break, don't scroll your phone, just go to the kettle, go to the loo, go around the block without taking any information with you so that you're literally just, your brain can just have a, a 60 seconds of downtime because that just helps relieve that exhaustion a little bit. The other thing is defaulting to the teas and the coffees, which is what people are doing a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, and what we do when we're tired. So um, having too much caffeine compromises the quality of your sleep and also can increase anxiety so we need to we need to keep it to less than 400 milligrams a day which is three shots of coffee so if it's a single yeah three single espresso shots for most people um for children or teenagers also too much caffeine causes anxiety so we need to be aware of those energy drinks with kids okay so i'm tired and yeah. Inevitably, I'll walk to the cupboard and I'll go, right, there's a packet of chips there. So yeah. help me with going, there's a packet of chips there, and I know I'm going to feel worse, actually, if I eat those packet of if chips. So yeah. how can I, I don't know, change my thought pattern, or do I need to have better snacks in the house? It's a, bit, it's a bit of both. I mean, the fact is, even uh, as a nutritionist, whatever you, whatever is e the easiest thing to access is what you end up eating. So it's estimated that you're three times more likely to eat the first thing that you see, see than the yeah. fifth, okay? So it's actually access. So one of the things, and this is a tip that I shared on my social media the other day, my veggie box. Now, this is what I started doing again a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's in the front of the fridge. Now, it's not that I wouldn't prefer to eat chips myself because I like it. Um, but the fact is that the vegetables are the first thing that you see. So when you open it and you, you, you do that kind of like, oh, what am I doing? Am I tired? Am I hungry? What am I doing? At least if you're eating something, you're, you're grazing on something that's actually good for you. So um, putting those chips a bit further away, you know, this now's not a, a good time not to buy so many of those. The alcohol, again, so it, it, booze is one of those things that we, we, we kind of gravitate to and a lot of people have been drinking through the week and that's an easy habit to maintain that brews with your sleep. So it's just getting that, that the white wine out of the fridge, the beers out of the fridge so that they are not easily accessible because even if they're in the garage, a 23-second walk is enough of a barrier to kind of stop you from um, doing it and then having the kombucha, the water, the, the, the herbal teas out on the bench that are the easiest thing to see. It, it's got to be snacks, though, that you actually do like. Because I know, again, I find myself, if, if you do have the healthier snacks, like the carrots and the apples, etc., right yeah. in front of you in the fridge, I'll still try and push those aside yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. look for the other goodies in the fridge. Yeah. So, I mean, is it okay if they're just... A, a, a little bit bad for you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's, there's, nothing, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And, and I eat a wide variety of balanced food. The question is that when we are eating those snacks, are we eating them because we're hungry or because we're trying to make ourselves feel better? Or bored. And so much of the Oh, bored. And, and if you're bored, eating a carrot is not particularly exciting. And yeah. eating chips or chocolate, that it tastes good. But if you're bored, it's actually finding something else that's not food-related that, that stops you feeling bored. If you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling frustrated, if you're feeling angry. So a lot of the eating that we're doing has nothing to do with 
anything to do with needing food, so it's actually finding other strategies, calling people, um, writing something, writing down, getting outside for five minutes. One of the key things that we can do to boost our mood is expose our eyes to natural light and get outside. That suppresses your melatonin, boosts your, your serotonin, and um, also vitamin D. We need vitamin D for our immune system. So um, the best thing that we can kind of do is get ourselves outside. Okay, well, that all makes sense. The challenge now is actually doing it, right? Yeah, what, what, one step at a time. And also just doing little things with, with other people. Fitness is another thing. Where, 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 where if you're struggling with your motivation of fitness, um, it's trying to do it at a set time in a set location. So one of the things people struggle when there's no actual definitive, you know, I'll do an exercise when I get round to it. You'll never get round to it. There's always other things to do. Um, so the easiest thing is putting two really good anchors, um, habit anchors, which are a, a location and time and, and um, go for a walk with someone else with your distance. Um, that just kind of keeps that socialization going and, and keeps you motivated. Oh, Claire, you make so much sense. Mm. Thank you so much for your time <laughs> this morning, Claire Turnbull. It's just actually putting Thanks. that sense yeah. into practice. Well, yeah, that's it. You know? Claire is from Mission Nutrition, right? If you want to find yes. out more about the work she does. Brilliant. Um, it's really hard when there are salt and vinegar chippies in the house mm -hmm. not to yeah. eat them. Salt and vinegar. Oh, just, no. Yeah. Oh. oh, no, that's my go-to. Really? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, chicken yeah. chips. Claire's still there. Claire. Yeah, Claire. Claire, are you still there? Oh, no, she's gone. Are you still <laughs> there? Yeah. Claire, do you, what, do you yeah, have a flavour yeah. of chip that you are particularly vulnerable to? Well, it's, it's salt and vinegar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. 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 I, I love chips. I may be a nutritionist. I drink coffee. I love chips. I like ice cream. All of those different things. Yeah. But um, oh. it's about uh, it's about putting them in a bowl, having a few of them. Um, it's it's the mind. As soon as you open the packet and your hand is in there, Whoa. even if you just put it in a bowl and put them back you have the opportunity to limit it to a handful rather than three handfuls. And then, wow, what a great you've done. You've eaten a third less or than, than you could have done. So even just putting food in a bowl that you really love and sitting down with it can help you eat a little bit less of it. Um, and advice. enjoy it. Don't feel guilty if you're going to have tips. That's right. Um, yeah. Enjoy them because the guilt drives you to have more. If you feel bad about it, the, the best way to... It's, we have this self-sabotage thing with food. When you feel like you shouldn't have done something, then you have more of it. So the biggest thing down. is allow yourself, <laughs> allow yourself to have tips on a Friday. Allow yourself to have chocolate on a Saturday. Because when you give yourself permission, it, it loses that power over you. Um, right. It's not that with those foods being bad. It's just, yes, yeah, they can take over. It doesn't have the power anymore. Thank you so much, Claire. We really do appreciate it. Good luck. Um, yeah, <laughs> Thanks, Claire. Yeah, yeah, yeah.